teacher charged with child porn alleged foot fetish. Yeah, it is disturbing to say the least. We're talking about this man, Paul Conrad. He was arrested last November at Minnesota State University. Witnesses say he was looking at young, topless girls on a public university computer. But this is just the beginning of this story, right, Susan? Documents obtained by the Free Press from Ancoda Area Public Schools paint an even more disturbing picture of this man, of Conrad. He apparently worked for the public school district for at least five years. During part of that time, he taught second grade in 2007 and 2008. Before he resigned in 2011, he racked up a pile of complaints from teachers and parents. One girl told her mother that she felt uncomfortable when Conrad had her remove her shoes and socks so he could massage her feet at school. And Vinny, I know you have more details about this. Yeah, yeah. This is one teacher uh, witnessed girls slapping him on the behind. When he did nothing to stop it, that teacher apparently confronted him about it. Conrad was eventually suspended, but resigned before he was fired. The reason for his resignation is protected public information uh, for that reason. But I want to bring in Dr. Tiff into this conversation. Um, you know, Dr. Tiff, as a sex therapist, as a psychotherapist, you know, this foot, foot fetish, should that have been a red flag? I think that school administrators should be so keen these days to any kind of red flag. Well, the behavior in and of itself, the, him asking the students to take their socks and shoes off so that he can... That's what's inappropriate. Foot fetishes, in and of themselves, fetishes, let's just start there, fetishes are about inanimate objects. When you look at the DSM-IV and the diagnostic criteria, it's about inanimate objects. We use that term very loosely as lay people and think that all foot fetishes are probably more something about like criminal activity mm -hmm. when in reality there we all have these things about people's bodies that we may like like some guys are really boob guys some some women like a guy with nice legs or and that's the same with feet some is people like feet an, and some an people obsession don't. is a fetish an obsession or a fixation on it, that i would say in the way that we're using this term mm -hmm. yes a fetish mm -hmm. is something that's more of a fixation and mm -hmm. in this case i'm actually feeling he's more on the line of pedophilia than yeah. actually having mm -hmm. a fetish yeah yeah, the bigger yeah. problem is the children and the children yes. that he's targeted. Yes. I always think when something like this happens in a school, how do parents deal with the other kids in mm. the school? Not just the victims of his abuse, mm -hmm. but the other kids that have been exposed to something that at that young age you should never even they have to not. learn and about. And that's why, you know, I know that I get a lot of flack for saying that we need to talk about sex and sexuality and things like that with our kids early. Yeah. But this is why. Because when these types of things happen, think about how many kids maybe <laughs> didn't say anything to their parents or didn't say something stop to this mm -hmm. teacher because well it's okay or maybe maybe it is maybe it isn't you always want to teach kids that any part of their body is their own and no one should be touching it and certainly if they do check in with your parents that that's the safe person that you should go unfortunately we trust our teachers to be kind of a second parent or role model to our kids when we send them to school and unfortunately this guy makes it, it's just horrible for everyone difficult conversation well, yeah. to have but as you but say you an important have conversation you have to it. have um,